Hi guys, this will be a very short video on how to remove uh, or actually bypass the volume control on uh, Musical Fidelity A1 clone that I've reviewed recently. I've told you uh, in the review that it's possible to bypass the volume control because it's not exactly a good idea to place just uh, volume uh, potentiometer, uh, volume regulator straight into the signal path. Um, so, uh, a couple of you asked me how to actually do that, how to bypass the volume control. Uh, it's pretty easy. The first thing you need to do is to unscrew the rubber legs from underneath of the uh, amplifier. Uh, the second thing is you need to unscrew the top lid cover and then you need to unscrew two screws in the front cover here. They look like that. It's a standard hex nut screw. And then you need to remove two screws from the back. Somewhere around here, looking like that. And then you're able to just take out the amplifier section. Okay, so if you take a look inside, let's turn this, you'll be able to see that the cable for the signal, uh, audio signal, comes from the FCA jack straight to volume regulation. Uh, and then another cable takes the same signal output uh, to the amplifier board. Uh, both of these cables are using the same type of uh, connector and the pinouts are exactly the same. So it's very easy and uh, pretty reversible to just disconnect the cable going uh, from the uh, input like that disconnect the cable coming from the uh, volume setup, from the volume regulation and connect the FCA input straight to the amplifier board. And that's all. Uh, if you want to reverse this modification, this small change, uh, you just need to plug this one back into the uh, innermost connector, this one. On the volume pot and you need to connect the volume pot output to the amplifier board and that's basically it you need to do this uh, for both amplifiers for the left and from the for the right side and then you just need to screw all the screws back into their places as it was at the beginning so that's it. Enjoy your amplifier. The longer I listen to this clone, the more I love it. Uh, the sound is absolutely amazing, especially for the price, especially for such amazing low, uh, incredible low price. So see you next time. Enjoy my other videos. You may see in the background that we have two more additions to my clone connection, collection. They will be burning in. Uh, I'll start it in a, in a minute, I think. It's already, uh, it's almost ready. Okay, so see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, show your results. Uh, and please remember that if you bypass the volume control, you obviously, you obviously don't have volume control here. So. Uh, it'll work as a power amplifier without volume control and uh, you'll have to use volume control from your digital to analog uh, converter or from your pre-amplifier or from your source like PC or whatever. Uh, one thing to note here is that since this volume pod is straight uh, into the audio signal path right after the RCA jack, it means that it does not control the amplification level of the amplifiers uh, themselves, because you have two of them, uh, but it just attenuates the input signal. Uh, this means that both of these uh, mono amplifiers are always working with the same amplification ratio. They are always consuming the same, almost the same amount of uh, power, 
because by manipulating the spot you're not changing the ampl amplification ratio ratio but you just add and waiting the input signal so that's it uh, modify your uh, musical fidelity a1 clone and share the results in the comments thank you guys